Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing this challenge lab. Perform foundational infrastructure task in Google Cloud. So this challenge lab contains four tasks. I will explain each and every task. So let's start with the lab. Log into the Google Cloud console using the student username and the password. You need to log in with the username one and copy the password. So in this challenge lab, we'll be creating a bucket for storing the photographs. Then we'll create a pubber subtopic that will be used for the cloud function, which we are going to create. Then next we need to create a cloud function. Task four, we'll be removing the previous cloud engineer. So they, we have uh, two usernames here. So we need to remove this username too. This is considered as the second cloud engineer. So we have to ensure that all the resources are created in US East one region and US East one hyphen B zone. Then we need to use the project VPCs only and the naming should be in this format. And we need to create all the resources in most cost effective way, which means that we need to use the smaller machine type. Like we can use a E2 iPhone micro for small Linux VMs and E2 iPhone medium for Windows. Let's proceed with the task one, create a bucket. So here we need to create a bucket by this name. So let's copy this bucket name, go back to cloud console. Here go to cloud storage, click on cloud storage. There are no buckets created yet, so click on create bucket here, paste that bucket name here, click on continue. Region they have specified here, we have to use US East 1 region. So under region select US East 1, click on continue. We'll keep other things as default, click on continue. Next, click on create. So this will create a bucket. So you can click on confirm here. Now the bucket is created, so you can uh, go back to the lab. You can click on check my progress and this should be complete now. So now the assessment is complete. Now let's create a pubber subtopic. We have to create a pubber subtopic with this name. Let's copy this. So in cloud console, let's search for pubber sub. Click on this. So now we are in the pubber sub dashboard. So click on create topic here. Topic ID, we will give that name here. Click on create. So this will create a pubber subtopic. So encryption will keep it as Google manage encryption key only. Now the topic is created. So let's go back to this uh, lab. So you are here you can click on check my progress. So the assessment is complete. Now let's move it with the task three. Create a thumbnail cloud function. So here we need to create a cloud function by, the, by this name. And this uh, cloud function should execute every time an object is created in the bucket. So this is a bucket. So whenever uh, any object is created in this bucket, this cloud function should trigger. And entry point, we have to set it as a thumbnail and trigger, uh, we need to set it as cloud storage. So let's go to our console here. Here you can search for cloud function. Click on this cloud function. So this will take you to the dashboard. Here click on create function. Function name, we have to update. So copy this. This function name and the environment it will be first gen. Select US East one. Next under trigger, under trigger type, you need to select cloud storage. And event type here, you have to select this. Finalizing or creating file in the selected bucket. So here they have mentioned the condition. So it executes every time an object is created in the bucket and the bucket is this. So we have to select this event type, finalizing or creating file in the selected bucket. Then under bucket, we need to select that bucket name. You need to select this bucket, click on select, save this. So once that is done, click on next. So here the function is written in node.js 14. So you have to choose the runtime node.js 14 year. Make sure you set the entry point to thumbnail. So copy this. Here entry point you need to change it to thumbnail. Next under uh, index.js. So in this file we need to replace this content with this. So let's copy this. Delete this. Then paste that one. Whatever we have copied there. And here we need to replace with our topic ID. So this one we need to replace. Copy this topic ID back here, update here. Now this is done. Next under package dot, uh, package dot JSON, we need to copy this content and replace this. So delete this content 
and paste the one which we have copied so this is done now so uh, you can now click on deploy uh, so now it is creating a function it's creating a function now so under trigger condition you can see the event type is on finalizing or creating file in the selected bucket so whenever we upload any files to the bucket uh, this function should get triggered go back here so th this function is getting created meanwhile let's go back to our lab so here we have to upload one jpeg or png image into the bucket let's download this image so let's copy this uh, url and open it in a new browser so now this function is created let's go back to our bucket cloud storage so this is my bucket so let's click on this bucket and this bucket is empty right now so let's upload one file to this click on upload file so i will be uploading this now i have uploaded one jpeg file here so let's refresh this as soon as i uploaded this file a thumbnail.jpg got created so this got created because of that cloud function so whatever we have created so cloud function identified that a new file was added to the bucket and it triggered the function due to which this uh, thumbnail.jpg got created so once you refresh that bucket details you will be able to find that so we have this so this is the expected output so you, you can click on check my progress and this should be complete now here so there is one more task we need to complete here we have to remove the previous cloud engineer so the previous cloud engineer is this so here there are two users username one and username two second user is the previous cloud engineer we have to remove this uh, engineer so let's go back to our cloud console here uh, let's go back to our navigation menu go to im and admin so here we can find two student ids one student id is having owner project i am admin and viewer role and the second student id is having just the viewer role so this is the second user so we have to remove this user select that and click on remove access it will prompt for this provide confirmation now it has removed the student so it, let's go back and click on check my progress now the assessment is complete so that's it for today's video i have just explained how you can complete this foundational infrastructure task in google cloud i hope you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content on google cloud thank you all for watching see you in the next video